Hello everyone, Katie here with Cranston Public Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to log into your library account online. First things first, you'll want to go up to the address bar in your web browser and type in cranstonlibrary.org. Then you'll just hit enter or go or click an arrow depending on which browser you're using. But that will bring up the Cranston Library website. And then you'll look down here at this right hand box. You have quite a few options here and in other tutorials we'll explain these. But for now, what you want to do is select the My Account link. It's in blue. It's the center option beneath the Search the Catalog search bar. Just click on that and that will bring you to the Library Account login page. Now once you're here, You'll need your library card number or your username if you have that set up. If you don't have that set up yet or you don't know what that is, don't worry. It doesn't matter and we will revisit that in another tutorial. And you'll also need your PIN number, which you most likely signed up for at the library. If you don't have a PIN number, you can try following the directions on the site to set one up but I would recommend just visiting the library and asking a librarian or a staff member at a service desk to help you. It's really the most surefire way to accomplish that. So once you have both of those pieces of information, you'll just type them in. I am using a full library card number here, so it's going to take just a moment to log in. All right, once you've entered that, you just select Submit down here at the bottom. And now you are in your library account. As you can see, I have a tutorial account here, so yours will likely have your name right up here in the corner. It should have your correct address and information here in the top left. And then right here in the center, you'll see all of the items that you have checked out, as well as their due dates. Now feel free to explore. Over here, this left-hand column, there are a number of options, and we will be revisiting those. But for the basic login, this is how you accomplish it. Thanks for listening. Please check out some of our other tutorials, and we'll be talking to you again soon.